Good day! Today we're going to learn graphical user interface using JavaFX. In this video, we're going to build application that creates UI or graphical user interface using the packages or package under JavaFX. Let's begin by determining what is JavaFX and its features. JavaFX is a Java library used to create rich internet applications. The application written using this library can run consistently across multiple platforms. What is RIA? RIA or Rich Internet Application is a web application that possess many of the characteristics of desktop application software. JavaFX It was developed in Java and it's part of JDK library since JDK 8. It has CSS support for scanning. So in this video, we're going to have sample application that uses CSS. It also supports FXML. It supports Swing Interoperability where you can use Swing UI or User Interface for JavaFX applications. It has a web view for embedding HTML content. It can also use 2D or 3D graphics. JavaFX can have multimedia or media support for audio, video, and image. It also provides a JavaScript engine and it has 36 packages under this JavaFX API. The following are the commonly used package in JavaFX. JavaFX that application. JavaFX application. JavaFX stage. This is the top level containers. JavaFX scene, scene and scene graphs. JavaFX scene that asterisk. So we can have controls, layout, shapes, etc. JavaFX event for event handling. JavaFX animation for animation. Example number one. In this application, we're going to create graphical user interface where the user can click on the button inside the window. When this button is clicked, a message hello world will be displayed on our command window. We start our code by using the import statements. We import application under JavaFX application. Under JavaFX event, we have action event and event handler. For scene, we have scene and control button. For layout, we have stack pane. For stage, we have stage. Our class name is JavaFX sample one, and we extend it to application. Inside this class, we declare button. We have private button, btn hello. The start method contains parameter primary stage. Inside this method, we construct the button. We have btn hello is equal to new button. Then we set the text btn hello that set text say hello containing string say hello. We also use the lambda expression JDKA to construct an event handler using the action event. We have btn hello that set on action. We have ev event system that out that print hello world. We also construct a scene graph of nodes. We declare an instantiate stack pane. The name of that object is root. And then we have we add the button in, inside this root. We have root that get children that add, and then we add the button btn hello. We also construct a scene given uh, given the root of scene graph. So we have scene scene is equal to new scene, and then we have the root, and then the size of the window is 300 by 100. Then we set up our primary stage. We set the scene. We have set scene scene. We also set the title of our stage. The title is hello. And we display it and we set it visible. We have primary stage that show. We also have the main method. The main method contains launching the application. Let's open our text editor window or notepad and type the following code. And upon completing this code, we're going to save this on our folder, lesson 6. And then after saving this, our class name would be JavaFX sample one that Java. We're going to save it on lesson six. And then we're going to open our command prompt window. And then we're going to locate, compile, and run our Java application.
the output will be a window containing a button. When the user click the button, hello world will be displayed will be displayed on our command prompt window. So how it works? Number one, a JavaFX program extends JavaFX.application.application. .application. This is similar to Swing, who extends to JavaFX.swing.jframe. Number two, just like Abstract Window Toolkit, JavaFX has variety of components such as label, buttons, text fields, etc. Number three, we declare and construct a button control and attach a JavaFX that event that event handler to the button via method set on action. The event handler is functional interface with an abstract method handle. This defined as follows. We can trigger the handle by firing the button via clicking the button with the mouse or touch, key press, or invoke the fire method. Number 4. JavaFX uses the metaphor of a theater to model the graphics application. A stage defined by the JavaFX stage that stage class represents the top level container or the window. The individual controls or components are contained in a scene defined by JavaFX.scene.scene class. An application can have more than one scene, but only one of the scene can be displayed on the stage at any given time. The content of the scene is represented in hierarchy. Scene graph of nodes defined by JavaFX.scene.node. This illustration shows the component of JavaFX. We have stage and scene. The stage is the window and the scene are the contents or the component. To construct the user interface, we need to prepare the scene graph, construct a scene with the root node of a scene graph, set up stage with constructed scene. The root node is the layout or the layout node, named jabfx.scene.layout.stack pane, which layout its children in back to front stack. This layout node has one child node, which is the button. To add child node under the layout, we use the following code. We allocate JavaFX scene by specifying the root of the scene graph using this constructor. Where the parent class is a subclass of the node class, which serves as the base class for all the nodes that have children in the scene graph. We also set the scene title and we display it by using the method show. Example number 2. This example, we're going to create a user interface that handles key event. This is the code for example number 2. We import the following packages. We have application, event handler, group, scene, text field, label, key event, color, and stage. Our class name is JavaFX sample 2. We extend it to application. Inside the start method, we have the stage primary stage that throws exception we create and set the position of our object we created two text field tf1 and tf2 and label title we use the method set translate x and set translate y to set the position of these objects we use the method set on key press for j for text field 1 to handle key event then we set the text of tf2 with the string key press and the corresponding key. We also set our scene and group. We declare an instantiate group called root and add all the components like text field 2, text field 1, and the label. We also created scene using root and the size of the window is 500 by 200 with color green. We set the stage, the title, and we set it visible. We disable TF2 and put focus on TF1. The main method contains code to launch our application. Open your text editor window and type the following code. 
After completing the code, we're going to save this on our folder Lesson 6. The class name will be JavaFX Sample2.java. After saving, we're going to locate, compile, and run our Java application. 